Let food be your medicine, and medicine be your food. Nature has provided a variety of amazing plants that we need to use for good health and nutrition. And yet, challenges facing the world at the moment include malnutrition and diet-related diseases like cardiovascular complications, diabetes, and obesity. We find out that many of us are not consuming adequate amounts of vegetables and fruits. In that slide, you can see the recommended requirement for vegetables you are supposed to eat, 75 kilograms per person per year. It's only Nigeria which is almost hitting the mark. Many of the African countries, we are eating less vegetables. And that's why many of the lifestyle diseases are catching up with us. So what are we going to do? We know that Africa is endowed with a lot of things, one of which is plants, vegetables, and fruits. These vegetables and fruits have not been exploited indigenous to Africa. They could make you have a peaceful, good life. These are some of the vegetables. Some of you have seen them. Some of you think they are weeds, but they are wonder plants. <laughs> Vegetable cowpea, jutmalo, you call them in your language. Look at the diversity of vegetables or fruits, the color. That color in the fruit is life that God put in it. But what is the problem? Why are we not eating enough vegetables and fruits while we have them? Now, because of this, I initiated African Indigenous Vegetables and Fruits Program in 1992 which was multidisciplinary. The objective was to promote the production and sustainable consumption of African indigenous vegetables and fruits. In our research, we did several surveys, baseline surveys, household surveys, laboratory testing, and field testing with a number of stakeholders. Out of that, we found out that African indigenous vegetables and fruits have a competitive advantage. For example, if you look at this slide, you need 20 times less jute malo, murenda, to give you enough iron compared to cabbage, which most of us love. So why can't you eat jute malo, murenda, and not this cabbage? <laughs> Secondly, some of the indigenous vegetables have medicinal value, health benefits. All the indigenous vegetables and fruits are loaded with chemicals called antioxidants. Antioxidants are chemicals that clean your system, that make you less predisposed to lifestyle diseases, diet-related diseases. Like bitter gourd, the extracts can contribute to diabetic treatment. There are several agronomic advantages. They can grow well, they grow fast. But why are we not eating them? Why are we not growing them? Major constraints, your mindset, my mindset. We have identified some of the vegetables within Eastern Africa, Western Africa, and Southern Africa. You can see them there. We have also used strategies, like listed there, to reposition them to a level that you can find them in the supermarkets now. So you have no excuse. Okay? <laughs> so, we want to commercialize African indigenous vegetables so that we can eat them, the village woman can eat them, the children in the village can eat them, all of us can eat them. So, when you live here, Make sure you go to the supermarket, Nakumat, Uchumi, and get African indigenous vegetables and fruits.
And I want to assure you that African indigenous vegetables and fruits are high profile commodities with nutritional and unrivaled health benefits. And they are going to make a great contribution to the food basket to, food the, to feed the world in the 21st century. So join me. Thank you.